Hey everyone, my name is John Hawes, assistant men's lacrosse coach at Penn State University, and today I will be reviewing wing dodging and what we believe makes a great wing dodger. Here are a couple points of emphasis we look for in dodging off the wing. Number one, we want to square up and become a threat. Second thing, we want to dodge to score towards the goal, which would then create an advantage for us offensively. Next, we want to be able to read the defenders. Are they hedging? Are they sliding? Are they looking away? We can also use deception off the wings with the uses of pump fakes, hesitations, step backs. And then the last thing we want to look at is, man, can we finish our shot with great angle? Each of these points will be explored in more detail during the upcoming film clips. So I first wanted to talk to you a little bit uh, about what we would do in our in our offensive uh, skill sessions earlier in practice. We would do this with no defenders. So where 50 and 22 are, there would be a line of guys. And then where 3 is inside, there would also be a line of guys. For the purposes of this presentation, I'm only going to talk about the guy on the outside who will be dodging. Once again, we, we want to make sure that guy, first off, squares up to the goal and becomes, becomes a threat. Um, he wants to put pressure on the defense, so then they have to react uh, whether or not to slide or not. Uh, se second thing here, um, we want to make sure we're, we're dodging to score. We don't want to dodge around the perimeter and just be a feeder all day. We, we want to put some pressure on, on them defensively and get to the goal. And then the last thing here you know, that we like for our guys to do is just be creative. Um, when you're coming off uh, this mirror or this pick uh, from the inside when dodging from the wing, we want you to, to be able to, to shovel pass. We want you to be able to kind of turn around like you're going to throw the ball back and then dive underneath. We want you to be able to, to throw the ball behind the back. So uh, during these pre-practice skill sessions with our offense, you know that's the time we really like our guys to be able to, to practice those and, and hone them in a little bit. So then we do add a defense. Uh, they feel very comfortable when, when doing those skills. Now we'll go through some practice clips here to show you some of the stuff that I was just talking about. Great job here of looking back, giving a little pump fake and allowing... Here's a great example of a step back hesitation, freezes that defender inside, allows him to get underneath and create some good angle. On this one, you know, allowing the guys to be a little creative, shovel pass... Here, awesome read by the Dodger. Dodges hard, draws that double, throws back, and gives us an opportunity to score. Great job here, again, of just looking back, throwing a little pump fake, allowing him a lane to get to the middle. Here, doing a great job of squaring up, you know, getting underneath. It's not all necessarily about speed. He gets just to a really good spot on the field, which gives an opportunity for that slide to come. Same thing here, dodging hard, no slide, wants to snap back, gives him an alley. Once again here, you know, just allowing our guys to be creative with the shovel pass. Obviously we don't connect, but great opportunity. Same thing here, getting underneath, draw the slide, shovel pass, this time we do connect. Great job holding that defender by looking back. Squaring to the goal, being a threat. Can't get underneath, double comes, we want to get the ball out of our stick. Next drill we like to use when dodging off the wing is what we call the decision drill. What's needed, you know, the ball's on the wings about 10 yard, 10 to 15 yards up from goal line, and then outside the restraining line is shown with those X's in that diagram to the right. You know, you need an all-time slide man uh, who will be on the crease, and then you need at least six players, but no more than nine. And, and the players will be on both wings uh, and behind the goal. The objective of this drill is to be able to read a sliding defender uh, without any hesitation and, and when we're at full speed. You know, two, just our stick work when the slide is coming, the ball, the ability to get the ball in and out of our stick. And then the last thing we like to work on here is just, just work on those deceptions, work on those pump fakes, those hesitations to hold that slider inside and allow you to then get to the goal. Here's the drill in action. We want to square up. We want to dodge as hard as we possibly can at that goal and then be able to read myself on the inside. So here I get back to my man. Dylan throws a little 
The pump fake allows him to get to the middle of the field. That one, I, w- I wish Jackson would dodge a little bit harder off the initial dodge, uh, but everything else I like. There we go. Get the ball out of our stick as soon as we see that slider. Same thing here. Dodging with our head up. We see the slide come. Let's see if we can get that ball in and out as quickly as we can. Moving on to our teammate. Great job here. No slide. We dive back in. Just want to thank everyone who has watched. And I also want to thank the Richmond staff, especially John Hogan, for putting this whole thing together. Attach is is my email. Please feel free to reach out with any questions about anything that I went over during this time. Hope everyone is staying healthy and safe during this time and continuing to battle through. I wanted to leave you with some game clips of this past year highlighting the concepts we just talked about. I hope you enjoy.